During Hurricane Michael, we had many homes that was uh, destroyed and flooded, and some of them had no flood insurance or couldn't acquire flood insurance because of where they were located at. So we worked through the federal and state legislators and along with FEMA and put a buyout program together where we'd come in and purchase the homes and turn them back to green spaces to keep future flooding, keep mitigation. Uh, you know, Hurricane Michael offered 75% of the home's value. We worked through our federal and state legislator. Senator Scott was very, very helpful in this. Uh, we were actually in D.C. He called at the time, Ken Lawson was the director of DEO from his office with me and asked Secretary Lawson to put uh, together a package to offer the additional 25% out of the HMGP monies. So it made our residents 100% whole in the value of their homes. It was a lengthy project. It was a tire, tireless process. It was a project that our staff, Ms. Karen Shaw at the time was our grants coordinator, that it, it kept her up at night. Uh, she worked very hard on it. Uh, it was a project that, that many people were upset because of the length of time it took, but ultimately it was well worth it because they were made whole. There's a great success story. I won't mention names because it's, it's unfair and I haven't got permission, but you know, just the one without saying names that a uh, husband and wife, they were out of their home. They were having to pay a mortgage on that home along with the mortgage on their new home. And, and it was causing a hardship on them. No one wants to pay two mortgages, especially in a home that's a beautiful home, but it's flooded and you can no longer live in it. So we were able to come through and, and buy the home out, acquire the home, just tear the home down and turn the property into a green space. And now, uh, just recently, the husband has bought an existing business out here in Chipley and being very, very successful. And I know it's no work that we caused him to be successful. He was gonna be successful no matter what cards that he was dealt because they're both two successful, hardworking people. But it sure had to help knowing that that one mortgage was took off his plate where he could buy a business and employ people here in Washington County. So I, I, I'm very, very proud of that. Very proud of the work that we've done for the constituents of Washington County and made sure that we was hearing the people's voices, making sure that we was getting them the help they needed and making sure that we was making them whole and, and, and keeping their families together and making where they could buy a new home and, and rebuild their lives and get started back on the right foot. So, you know, again, I would love to have a playbook whenever I took the role as county commissioner to know what all roles we was going to be faced with and how to overcome some of the, the adversity that you face and, and some of the trials that you face. But over the last eight years, it's been very, very rewarding very tiresome at sometimes and, and, and worrisome at sometimes because I'm not able to turn the switch off. I'm not able to, when I leave the office, I'm not able to leave that person's problems at the office. A lot of times I'll, I'll bring it home and sometimes uh, have discussions with, with other people at the house, you know, whether it be my wife or my friends and about how to help the situation. And, and uh, so using resources, having a great wife like I have and a great family, that I don't mind you uh, being in their ear, using them to bounce ideas off of is, is something that I cherish. And I don't never get to tell them thank you enough. I don't never get to tell them that, hey, you're appreciated. Uh, a lot of times I get all the accolades and uh, all they get is the trouble that I, I bring upon the family because of the, the role that, I, that I'm in. But I do appreciate them sticking with me through the thick and thin and making sure that every morning I get up, it's a new day. Uh, yesterday's problems were yesterday's problems. We're on face today head on and, and make certain that, uh, that we're doing better today than we was yesterday. So again, I thank you for your support. I look forward to your vote on August the 20th and look forward to continue to serve as your Washington County Board of County Commission. Let's work together to build a better Washington County. Vote Trey Hawkins, August the 20th. I'd appreciate your vote and support.